Hi, this is Jim Welsh from macrotides.com. Thanks for tuning in. Well, with the stock market plunging, the dollar soaring, financial conditions are tightening irrespective of the Federal Reserve cutting interest rate dramatically and the injections of liquidity the, the Fed has provided into the financial system. One of the areas that is already reflecting the tightening of financial conditions and contributing to them is the corporate bond market. If we look at globally now, corporate debt represents 94% of global GDP. But what is really worrisome is the increase in triple B corporate debt. That's one rung above junk. It has soared from two trillion to five trillion over the last decade. I think it's very obvious that the rating agencies who did such a terrible job prior to the financial crisis, when they gave a lot of subprime mortgage debt triple A rating, have probably given many shaky companies the triple B investment grade rating. And we're going to see those ratings change and they're going to be marked down. In the U.S., U.S. corporate debt that's publicly traded is about 47% of GDP and it's probably a touch higher. This chart is about a year old. But that really doesn't tell the whole story. When we add small business debt, medium-sized companies, family-owned businesses with exchange-traded debt, it's up to 74% of, of uh, GDP. And as we know, with the economy slowing the way it is, uh, many small businesses are really going to be stressed. And that's going to make the debt that they're carrying that much harder to service and pay back. So, knowing that GDP in the U.S. is likely to drop between 5 and 10% in the second quarter, and how it performs in the quarters beyond is going to be dependent, obviously, what happens with the virus and simply cannot be known. The one thing we do know is that the default rate is going to increase. The expected default rate in yellow always leads the actual default rate. And we can see prior to the last two recessions, that's what happened. We got kind of a head fake in 2015 and 16 when oil prices dropped from $100 to under 30 and a lot of energy debt uh, you know, went to the brink. This time is obviously far more widespread and we are going to see default rates soar in coming months. And that's going to lead to more downgrades. In anticipation of that, we're seeing record outflows from bond funds especially investment grade bond funds. So in other words, people are already anticipating a lot of this problem um, from developing and manifesting in coming weeks and months, and they're trying to get out of Dodge. If we look at the high yield ETF, it's lost about 20% in a matter of about two to three weeks. The net result is the Federal Reserve, I think, is going to step in and begin to try to stabilize the corporate bond market. Because until they do, uh, that's going to continue to spell trouble for the financial system as a whole, but also for the equity market. Thanks for tuning in. May something good happen for you today and stay healthy.